Hey everyone, so I have another video tonight, um, last night I talked about how I was going to be doing a writing, I will, bleh. this month I, I'm kind of challenging myself as far as writing, and I'm doing a writing challenge, which is basically me writing two pages every day in this Activate book. I call it an Activate book because it kind of just gets me writing, gets me thinking about writing, and thinking about things that I have to write about, or um, things that have to be in writing, or whatever. I think I already said that. So, this video, since it's, uh, man, it's the second, because I think it's midnight. Where's, oh, I'm using my phone dumb. Like, where's my phone? Um, I think it's midnight, so it technically is the second, but whatever. We'll just say it's the first still. First of May. So this month I will be writing two pages every single day in this book. Now I realize it's midnight. I am not going to count that as writing like tomorrow. It's it's still midnight and I'm going to actually write in it like right now after this video. I've just I've been doing a lot so let let's just say the first doesn't count. Um the reason I'm doing this video of like what's what I do in this notebook is, well, I don't know, just because kind of like, I don't know, I wanted to explain to you what's in it. Also, the, va hold on, the Vampire Girl 1994 uh, said she'd be interested in seeing this, so I figured I'd just make a video on it. Yeah. So if you're interested in writing, I would love it if you just joined me as far as writing two pages every day in a notebook, whether you have your own personal Activate notebook or whether you don't. Just write two pages of anything, and this can kind of help get you started on what you could write two pages of. So let's get started. Um, so in the front here, I just kind of have um, just things that I wrote. I have quick writes. Um, I'll just read you one, one thing that I wrote. Eh, that's too long. That's still too long. Alright, well, and then there's a back to it. It's just, they're quick writes, or they're free writes, I call them free writes, where I kind of just think of a topic like climbing a tree to save a baby, paralyzed person, I don't know, but, and then I just write about it. And then this page pretty much lists all the things I can and want to do in this notebook so this whole page is of things that I will be doing in this notebook so that's pretty much what I'm going to be naming off to you and kind of explaining to you so num um so yeah so activity ideas um I could do a quick write or quick write as far as well I'll call it a free write um you know those story starters kind of like a free write is a story starter yeah. Um, group story swap. Okay. I thought of this on my own. I don't know how. I just thought it'd be really fun. A group story swap. Hold on, let me fix the light. Is when you have, like, a whole bunch of people, and then you get, uh, like, you go around a table or whatever. Like, you sit at a table, and you have a plain notebook like this, and basically, um, it starts with one person, and that one person takes, um... Is it a minute? I think it's a minute. It takes one minute to either jot down ideas or just start the story. And then after that one minute, you pass it to the next person. Now that next person has to take out time to read what was written before or skim it a little bit and then add to that writing. And you just go along the table and go around the table and each person gets to write until um, whoever decides to finish the story and end it. That's when it's end and you... That's when it ends, and then you read the story and see what you've accomplished or finished or whatever. It's really fun. I've never done it, but it sounds fun. Um, character act. Uh, you can create like a character and try to act, try to act like your character, so that you can kind of better understand your character and have better characters later on when you're writing. Um, character diary. I personally love diaries, like if my friend has a diary from like two years ago, I'll go, ooh, give it to me and I want to read through it, and just because it kind of gives you an idea of what they were like, um, so a character diary just can help you better understand your character, <coughs> and then a character chart, um, that's just kind of like a diagram, hold on, let me show you, um, 
character chart. Oh, sorry. I have an example here. I'm like, okay. Um, it's just a character chart. It looks like this. Can you see that? Personality, appearance, history, and then other detail. So, yeah, that's that. Um, and then free write, the same th thing as um, quick write. Now, a quick write, um, that's kind of different. That's kind of having a discussion. So, like, I don't know, political laws or whatever. Say you want to do a discussion on that, you kind of discuss. Or say you read a chapter and you want to discuss that chapter. A quick write is just kind of a discussion on a topic. Whereas a free write is more of like a story or something like that. You understand what I mean? Um, vocab sentence, sentences, most vocab words. Okay, this is where you kind of have to have your own vocab list. And um, you just create sentences. Create, like, a sentence using the most vocab words, I guess. Yeah, um, I haven't done all of these, so. Oh, extremely descriptive sentences. Now, usually in a story or a book, you won't have um, a paragraph that has all this description just because it does not fit. Um, but the trick is to give as much description in one small paragraph as you can. Like, really, really descriptive so that it's, like making your mind bleed and you just want it to be really descriptive um, even though you wouldn't really do that it just kind of teaches you to be descriptive um, draw a scene if you're kind of an artist what you could do is just like take a piece of paper and just kind of like draw like trees I'm not an artist so and then people and you could just like take a scene from your story or your book or someone else's story and kind of draw it or um, you could do that or you could just kind of draw something so just draw whatever so say I was drawing this I'll draw another tree I'll draw a bench let's pretend that's a bench um, and some grass okay so it looks like that and basically you'll just look at it and tell a story so, like, say you were with your little sister, you would just look at that picture, or you could get your own picture, and you would just tell a story. So, that's that's fun. Um, title writing. It's where you think of this title. Um, for example, hold on. I have my own. Like, I do this all the time because that's, like, how I write. Um, I think of a title, and then I write this story. Um... One of, okay, one of my title things is Lap Full of Crap. Um, that would be, like, a really cool title. And when I think of that, I just pretty much picture um, this teen with all these problems just sitting in her lap. And, like, the problems are so building, like, they're building up. And the crap in her lap is just building up. And she just, she can't get up. You know what I mean? And you can relate that to, like, that. I don't really think of, like, crap in her lap. I think of, you know, teenage crap, you know? So you could do that. Um, and then quick essay. It's where you just, you have this topic of, like, a person or something, and you just really quickly, you give yourself 15 minutes to just write an essay. And it just really teaches you, I don't know what it teaches you. I don't know. <laughs> um... Begin, end a story. Oh, um, okay. So what I like to do is I like to take a story that's already written by an author and then completely take out and pretend the beginning of the story was never there. So don't even look at it. Read the end of the story. And then um, create your own beginning. So don't even read the beginning. Just create your own, your own beginning that makes sense with the ending. Or... You could do that opposite, read the beginning, don't read the end at all, and create your own ending. Um, oh my gosh, I'm not even halfway through. Uh, quick poetry. Um, I don't know. Write dialogue with words other than said. Oh, this is when you create like five pages of just dialogue without using the word ever said. You can never use said. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, quick script write, I don't know what that is. Um, 
Take facts. Oh no. No. Oh, fast mind topic. Write five to ten descriptive random events, all different. So, like, just give yourself five or two minutes to think of, like, ten really descriptive random events that could happen in your life or never happen in your life or something like that. Um, practice mood. Set a person's mood using a paragraph. Describe a... Pr I, I don't know what I mean by that. Practice tone. Oh, just give dialogue tone. Give dialogue tone. Show fear, happiness, sad. Express it. Uh, just, that's pretty much it. Um, This is already 11 minutes long. Ay, ay, ay. So, that's that. I hope you enjoyed... Um, hearing what I will be doing in my Activate Notebook. And I have not done a lot in this. Um, there's not a lot. There's just kind of that. I have a little bit here, but, yeah. So, I'm actually... No, she's probably asleep. But, oh wait. What time is it there? I don't know. Whatever. So, I hope you can join me, any of you. Um, if you do want to join, comment down below. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Bye.